perspective on my job as mayor was a quote from Michelangelo who said, the biggest risk is not that we aim too high and miss it, it's that we aim too low and reach it. Think about that for a second. Uh, I think most of us probably wildly overstate what we can do in a year, but wildly underestimate what we can do in two, five, or ten years. The point of saying that is it's only appropriate to think more boldly, because the reality is change only occurs when you think boldly. Our framework, as Doris was mentioning around public housing, was one of total despair and frustration. I don't mean to be partisan, but it was self-evident to many of you here, leaders around not just the Bay Area, but around the country, that the previous administration was not fully committed to public housing in the United States of America, at least committed to rebuilding and revitalizing public housing. We had instant starts with previous administrations. We had strong leadership in Congress, particularly our own local congressional leader, Nancy Pelosi, now Speaker Pelosi, that continued to try to fight, backfill any cuts in the Hope 6 program, and try to at least keep it on life support. But things got so bad about four years ago that we decided we needed to do something in spite, or rather despite of complaining, to do something more substantive, not just pass another resolution, not just hold another hearing, or in some cases a candlelight visual and talk about the way the world should be, show up on someone's doorstep, we said, look, let's take some responsibility to the theory, the framework, dreamers and doers. And we decided to put together our own local Hope 6 program. And we put up, it's interesting, or as you mentioned, $95 million. The reason we picked $95 million is because it was a little bit more than the entire Bush administration's budget for Hope 6 for the entire country. We decided to pick In San Francisco, we had one supervisor that actually opposed the initiative. Uh, someone that just didn't believe it was appropriate to be sending money over to a federal housing authority, making the case not incorrectly that it's the federal government's responsibility to be a better steward, uh, but nonetheless, I think missing the point of our respective responsibility to actually address the problem. Now, the last few years have been a lot of good planning and a lot of efforts to try to find a dollar here, a dollar there, get some grants here, grants there. But finally, we're at a point where this year we're going to start, or in the next few months, in Hunter's View, up at West Point and Middle Point, up at Bayview Hunter's Point, uh, and finally start moving forward with our first big uh, redevelopment. And then following that, we'll be down at Sunnydale, Visitation Valley, and then a number of other sites that we've identified in Montero and others to begin the process of completely revitalizing our remaining public uh, housing sites. But what we're trying to do is look at best practices across the country. And we're trying to aggregate those best practices to do something that truly raises the bar. Obviously, green building is fundamental. We have the most aggressive green building program in the United States of America, incorporating more than just a housing philosophy, but the support services and economic development and wrapping around a connection to the rest of the community, the uh, surrounding environments, and child care, workforce training programs, and connecting the work of our public schools, all a big part of that. Long-windedly, and this is my concluding thought, none of this could have happened without enterprise. And this is the point I wanted to make, and the reason I'm proud to be here, is no one, and there are a lot of outstanding people here, my friends from Mercy and TNDC and others that are extraordinary leaders and great partners, but Enterprise has stepped up in an extraordinary way to help support these efforts in San Francisco. And it's right that I say this because I'm being recognized by Enterprise tonight. But I say this even when I'm being recognized or even when our city and the efforts of Doug Shoemaker and others are recognized, that enterprise is critical. Because you stepped in where a lot of people aren't stepping in, on those early grants, those dollars where people are just not necessarily ready to go just yet. They're waiting to see if someone else goes first, but enterprise consistently has been there. You referenced the work on supportive housing. Folks weren't stepping up and stepping in. Our version of sort of a uh, Section 8 strategy, but localizing that to deal with our homeless challenge. You guys stepped up. And
those who were there at 990 Polk Street is one of the examples of taking green building, tense subsidies, and finding local strategies to help support what had traditionally been the state and federal's role, but enterprise being that critical partner. And so I want to just say thank you. Uh, you didn't have to get me here by giving me this. Uh, I would have come here just to give you thanks for your work, for your bold leadership, for your vision, and your capacity to right wrongs and to walk your talk. You're a national leader. You're constantly raising the bar. You're challenging us, but more important than anything else, you have the wisdom of the private sector in the most enlightened sense. And that is you recognize the entrepreneurial spirit needs to be injected into the public realm. And you recognize the importance of best practices. And there's nothing more rewarding than this, my final sentence, <laughs> than the leadership of enterprise bringing leaders from all over the country to try to solve problems, even outside their jurisdictions, as you have done with folks from Portland and Seattle and Atlanta and New York and D.C. and elsewhere that have come through your stewardship to San Francisco to offer advice and counsel and directions of ways that we can truly try to get to the next level. So Enterprise, thank you for that example. Thank you for the leadership. And thank each and every one of you for being part of their success. And all I can say is, and I expect nothing less, that you'll maintain that success, uh, that commitment. You'll maintain that energetic support. And the best is yet to come. Thank you very much.